Okay, now to other smaller breeds. First, the Maikai. They're very affectionate towards their owners, but also very friendly towards strangers and kids. And they have no problems with other dogs, pets, or people. They enjoy running around and playing is something they really enjoy, but they also need daily walks. It's a relatively new breed and cannot be found very often. It looks like a mixture between a Maltese, a Japanese Chin, and a Papillon, and combines aspects of different toy breeds. They generally weigh around 2 kilos, so they are very small. Next, the Chih Tzu. The Chih Tzu is very cute and affectionate towards the owners, but also possessive and stubborn. They are still loyal companions and are suitable for families with children. They also get along well with other pets. They weigh between 4 to 7 kilos, so they're also pretty small dogs and can make good lap dogs. They also come in a variety of colors and can live up to 16 years, but also need to be bathed and brushed regularly because of their often light coat. Next, the Brussels Griffon. They are very attentive and eager to learn, but can also be bossy, but also love their families and their owners and love spending time with them. Without enough attention from their owners, they can resort to destructive behavior like lots of other dogs with separation anxiety. Leaving them at home can resort to them going back to this destructive behavior and eating your um, furniture and chewing on it and things like that. They don't like children very much because they like being the center of attention and don't like other children being the center of attention. They originate from Belgium and were popular amongst farmers there and were living in the stables and on the streets. They are pretty small dogs as they weigh between 3 to 7 kilos and come in a variety of colors between black to blue and red, brown and any mixture of those colors. They have a double coat consisting of a smooth and rough coat. The seasonal shedding takes around two weeks and can be encouraged by bathing and brushing them more often, but the coat also requires trimming regularly every couple of months. Um, because the coat sheds seasonally, it also means that they shed more than some of the other dogs on this list. They can also live up to 15 years. Next, the Bichon Friese. They're very gentle and outgoing dogs. They get along well with children and other pets as they're very sociable and affectionate. But they can also be territorial and protective of their land and um, their owners. They're originally used in Spain as sailing dogs, um, but then the French developed them into more of a lap dog. But this also means that they enjoy swimming a lot. They're also a pretty small dog, between weighing between 3 to 10 kilos. The colors of their coat are generally very light. They can be white, apricot, cream colored, but usually white and other colors make up the minority. But this also means that they are, require lots of bathing and brushing because you can see dirt in their light coat more easily than darker coats. They can live between 12 to 15 years. Next we have the Havanese. Um, this dog loves people sitting on their laps and playing with them, but this also means that they're very dependent on their owners and don't like being alone for a prolonged period of time. They'll be unhappy alone and try to occupy themselves with something that we described as destructive behavior, like chewing on your furniture. They enjoy learning new things, although house training can take a while with this breed. They're good with other pets that can make good non-aggressive watchdogs, but they're also prone to allergies. They're also one of the smaller dogs, weighing in between 4 to 8 kilos, and also live up to 15 years. The color of their coat can be black, white, and different shades of brown and mixtures of them. And they also have minimal shedding, like most of these dogs. Next on the small dogs is the Chinese Crested. 
The Chinese crested is always in a good mood and energetic. They love people, especially their owners, and can even try to hug them with their paws around their necks. They enjoy playing with other pets and children, but also need a lot of exercise, which can make them tough on beginners. They try to please their owners, but can also try to be the center of attention a lot of the time, and they don't like being alone for a long time. They are pretty small with two to six kilos and also can come in a variety of colors from black to brown, apricot, blue and combinations of these colors. And because this is a hairless dog breed, there is um, this is also a tote coat type which can appear in the same litter, meaning that um, the hairless kind of the Chinese crested and the kind where they have hair all over the body actually appear in the same litter so if you want the one that has less shedding potential you should choose the one that has um, less hair they have one of the least shedding on this list because they also have one of the least hair and they can live between 13 to 15 years next the Bolonka Tswetna um, they are friendly to everyone and intelligent. They make good companion dogs and are very affectionate. They can become good watchdogs as they were bred to protect their owners and territory. But on the other hand, they do not make a good guardian because they lack the necessary aggression, which can also be seen as a good thing if you don't want an aggressive dog, but a very kind and affectionate dog that is kind to everyone, even when people invade your house. This dog originates um, in Russia and weighs between 2 to 5 kilos. They also have lots of different color variety and live between 12 to 16 years. Next we have the Cotton Netulea. Um, this is a very affectionate and generally very quiet breed. When playing and having fun, they can bark and growl like a lot of dogs. They can jump up and stand on their hind legs and often enjoy meeting new people and are, very, are generally very curious and also love swimming. Uh, they originate from the island of Madagascar and they are the national dog there. They weigh between 3 to 6 kilos and their coat is typically white but also black and mixtures between those colors. Their coat is known to be similar to cotton, which is also where they got their name. And mat matted hair should be removed daily um, with brushing with a lot of these other dogs as well. Uh, they live between 14 to 16 years and they have minimal shedding, although, although puppies might shed their puppy coat. 